shirt and your Cuban flip. Do it all for Miami, all for Miami. You got mambo in the streets, put no mambo in my sheets. Give it all to me, poppy, all to me, poppy. And your flower power shirt and your Cuban flip. Do it all for Miami, all for Miami. You got mambo in the streets, put no mambo in my sheets. Give it all to me, poppy, all to me, poppy. Come on, man. She's 18. I know. She's going to I know. college. I'm her father. She's got a job. She is my daughter. No, but you gotta let her go. She's still my little angel. Maybe it's time you start focusing on us. Let's keep doing it. But no, you know what I mean, my car, good. I my got it, I got it. Six. Almost done. Six months are ready. You know I got it, you know I'm about it. I need the money, you know I can't sleep without it. I'm from Miami, you can't do nothing about it. My chicos, they getting ready, I'm never late to the party. Don't touch a thing, baby, they just fling. All these women be hitting, cause you the one with the ring. Maybe say, Bobby, be your lady, go hot me. Bob, all that hollow cello and come and get this salami. Out of all days, why today? I just feel like something's off. Nothing is wrong. They called ahead and said he just wanted to inspect the operation. I've been working with this man for 12 years. Now he wants to inspect him. Stay out of your head. Find it. it was on pages about Robert. We went over that already. Look, you're a mechanic. I'm sure you have other toolboxes in your shop. Toolbox is very special to me. She's keeping it out of spite. Look at her face. With your flower power shirt and your Cuban flow. Do it all for Miami. All for Miami. You got mambo in the streets, but no mambo in my sheets. Give it all to me, papi. All to me, papi. Don't worry. You're a genius, okay? And once he sees how you built this place, he's gonna be so happy. I can't do it. It's almost Christmas. I thought maybe I can sell the toolbox. And Mr. Gandeco, the toolbox is going to max. It's non-negotiable at this point. Well, let me think about it. Mr. Gandeco, you cannot leave my table like that. Yes, I can. Pay attention to this guy. Then you tell me if you see something suspicious. I don't trust this guy very much. Ah, gentlemen. Welcome to H. Jefferson Ave. to see you as soon as you can. Sam? Why? I don't know. How did he seem? Oh, he seemed like Stan. <laughs> Great. Hey, can I get a pina colada and a rum and coke, please? Gentlemen, help yourselves, too. Thank and you. you. To me. Please. Scotch on the rocks with a splash of water. Yes, sir. And, uh, right Gentlemen. 
I spent a lot of money in this business. Yes, yes, yes you have. But as you can see here, we've also returned amazing and above and beyond profits what any investor or businessman would dream of. If you see here some of the stats. You think I don't know what my businesses make? Bro, if it wasn't for you, I don't know what I'll do. You're Miami's best kept secret, bro. I told you, God is ready. Wow, incredible. I swear nobody could do it like you, man. The horsepower, the torque. Y'all don't know how you managed to put this shit together. Like, that's why they pay me big bucks. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, man, seriously, though, like, you all right here, bro? It just looks like a little bit more quieter well, than it used to be, you know? A little bit slow. I will be okay. Ashley said you wanted to see me? Come have a seat, Julia. What do I always tell you? It doesn't matter if you're smart or hot. It's all about who you know. Exactly. And I always did say to you that I was going to be a really good person for you to know. Didn't I? This is Vaughn Jacobs. Vaughn is a talent agent, but he's also a developer of social media influencers. Just like me, he's got a real eye for talent and beauty, and uh, he asked me to set up a conversation now. Yes, and what Stan is getting at is you have the look and pressing for this. You are so beautiful. You could be in the set in my line of work. Believe me, I have a special life for this. You're doing a fine job, Mr. Cam. It's Cam, isn't it? Correct. I have a very important client coming to town this week. This particular client demands top quality merchandise. And I'm gonna trust you to find that merchandise. Can I count on you? I'm all ears. You never miss the old life, man? You and me, oh, we was running shit, bro. Not for a second. That's why I always had a different respect for you, man. You know that, right? I look up to you. Might not be much, but... Louis. It's not a tip. Just think of it as, um, shashlik for muscle, protein. You built like a tank, so you probably need it more than I do. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Yo, man. Call me, man. Whatever you need. You know I got you, bro. Thank you. This is a beast, though. You nailed this motherfucker. My guy. Call me. Have you done modeling or acting before? Actually, I have. Um, I was Clara in the Nutcracker in our church. I've always wanted to be this, like, famous actress, but um, I guess... So do all little girls. Okay, listen. If you are open to it, I love you to be a part on the shoot. What do you say? I say yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. The Hammond. 8 p.m. Show this at the door. They let you right in. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Ciao, Bella. Bye. You know, there's a lot more girls like that where uh, she came from. Do you need any black girls? Jacob's modeling agency? Are you gonna go? I mean, I want to. Oh, come on, you have to go. This is an amazing opportunity, but hey, hey, hey. 
If you don't want to go, that's fine. You can give me that card because you know I want to party with the rich and famous. <laughs> I noticed you were out until 5 a.m. again. Please don't remind me. Was it Eric or Noah? I think Noah could keep me up that late. It was Omar. Then you went. Girl, you change your name way more often than you change your underwear. I know, but where are you going? I'm going to a video chat with my dad. Oh, okay. You're a hot, muscly dad. Like what? Gross. Do you have a word today? Oh yes, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Hello, my little angel. Hi, Papa. How are you? <laughs> Tired. I got a shift super late and you were blowing up my phone the whole time. I thought you were going to do that anymore. Sometimes I'm so worried. Um, but you got nothing to worry about. You raised a strong girl. Just give it time. Time. That's what I don't have anymore, Julia. Time. Oh, don't say that, Papa. So, I'm excited for Christmas together. I already got your present. As long as you stay together, that's only present. I only need. I love you. I love you too, baby. Okay, Papa. I'll call you tomorrow on my lunch break. Yes, you will. Bye. Bye, baby. Gentlemen, thank you for waiting. Welcome to the Sunshine State. My boss wants to know when we're gonna get the shipment. We need the girls by Christmas. Wait, no hello, no how are you? Nothing. We gave you a deposit, and he wants to know how long you're gonna keep him waiting. I just welcome you to my house. Yeah, 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 but uh, Look, we don't have time for this. My boss- Your boss? He's one of many, many clients. One I don't particularly need. So, you should be more cordial. Bullshit. My boss! Oh, oh, fuck! Oh, cool. Go ahead. Take two. But cordial this time. Try it. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Okay, you have a lovely house. You have a lovely house. You see, that's cordial. I agree. But what the fuck are you getting blood in my beautiful flower? You tell your boss the shipment is ready. That I need his business. That he should be more careful with the caliber of messages he sends. You got it? Yeah. 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 You have to clean up this mess. It's gonna be buffet night at the alligator farm. Like fire on the pine. If you wanna touch my please just call. 
Concussion, cold like zero degrees. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the, let out the, let out the. Wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. Crime scene photos from Miami Beach police begin to tell the story of human trafficking. Women branded by their pimps and traffickers wearing the same tattoos as the man accused of exploiting them. Women beaten when they fail to meet cash quotas for sex. Miami Beach is a huge destination for them. Detectives working to uncover human trafficking see this crime all over the city. Oh, Merry Christmas. Be sexy for you, baby. Yes, come on. A little bit more. Yes. Miami Beach lures human traffickers like cold hard cash towards a man with a stable of women in his grass. I mean, you come in closer to the tourist area. Um, it's a big special in the city, and there's a lot of money here. Detectives say the men target vulnerable women to become sex workers. Stop that. Stop that. Detectives say the men target vulnerable women to become sex workers. And the traffickers know just what to say to earn their victims' trust. They feed them lies, they tell them, they make you a model, they make you rich or whatever. But really, the only person that ever benefits from them doing this is the Get your sweet ass over here and give me another round of drink. I saw that. What are you afraid? I ain't gonna give you a tip. Excuse me. That's right. Come on over here, darling. I'll give you more than a tip. I'll give you the whole thing. Listen, you already paid your tab. I am not giving you another drink. Right. You need to go. No, no, no. Right. You need to go. No, now. Hey, hon, what do you have? Vodka, double shot, no ice. Got it. Please. Don't walk away from me. You know who I am? Some people can handle their alcohol. <laughs> uh, Anything else? I don't want to embarrass my daughter. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can help. Who's your daughter? She works here. Hmm? Julia Graden. Oh, Julia, yeah, we love her. Wait, you're her dad? I don't want her to be embarrassed okay. because I'm here. She didn't call. Hmm. I'm too worried. Oh, no, don't worry. I, I won't tell her. Please, don't tell her. No, no, I, I won't. I won't. I, I understand. But um, listen, so she went to that photo shoot last night and she went out with a couple of people that she met. Um, she called in today, asked me to cover her. Where did she go? Uh, uh, she was just going out. Honestly, she sounded kind of drunk. But I told her to take an Uber home. Um, but she was really excited, so I don't know. Maybe she met a guy or something. Does she do? Actually, no. no like, never. But like I said, she was really excited, so maybe she was celebrating? Thank you. Thank you so much. Keep it. Keep it. Oh, no, Thank no. you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Oh, hi, Yuri. Come on in. How are you? I'm sorry for the late visit. I'm trying to get a hold of Julia. She had that photo shoot at the Hammond. Have you ever tried and find my phone? What is find my phone? Oh, look, it came online. She's at the Hammond. Maybe they're still there. Makeup, hair and stuff. I really don't know how long that takes. Maybe you'll totally be interrupting. Hmm. Her friend at work said she sounded wrong. Julia never drinks. 
Can you take this on my phone? I think I can. Yeah. I'll go check it out. That man, hey, get the fuck out of here, man. Get him the fuck out of here, man. No guns, no knives, bro. Hey, what to do, man? We're chilling. into that room. You ain't going nowhere, motherfucker. The fuck you think this is? Huh? Okay. Good for you. I go. No, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> 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 Speak to the manager. Uh huh. Sure. Right, right away. Very impressive. <laughs> What's that like? Ten assaults in under five minutes. Maybe a murder or two. Please, we're gonna clean all this up for you. It's almost a shame that we met under these terms. I just want to deflate this negative energy. I'm thinking you and I should speak in more of a private setting.
Get up. Get him the fuck off the ground. Get up. Get him off the fucking ground. on a moonlit night just like this. Fish from right off the rocks over here. Just a couple drops of blood and the lures are right in. Fuck you! Yeah, fuck you. Fuck <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, wake up, sir. What happened? Here, sit up a little bit. Drink this, it'll help clear your head up a bit. We'll get rid of the shaking, too. Where am I? We're out of friends. We're letting a few of the models stay here. Seems you got pretty wasted last night. I don't remember drinking. Uh, maybe it was the pills then. A lot of the people got into the pills, too get into any of that? What? I don't do drugs. Okay, shh. Just lay back down. We'll talk more about it when you get some rest. But I'm saying I can pick you up tonight. We can go to a nice dinner, go back to the place, you know, watch a movie or something. I mean, so. can you give me a ride to Little River? No, I mean, I gotta go. I got business. 
I'll pay you $150. <laughs> I got stuff I got to do. I'm sorry. Listen. You will take money or I will take your car. All right, then. Let's do it, man. Hop in. <laughs> Try not to get blood on my seats, man. They're expensive. from weird numbers. And don't call me when you know that I'm working. It's the same shit with her all the time, okay? She's gonna try and test you. Just give her some tough love, put her in her place. I am busy, Yuri. Goodbye. So cute. You got a boyfriend? Hot, hot, hot. Yo, it's Lou. What it do? Hello, it's me. Oh, free day. Привет. I need your help. Sure, man. Anything for you. What's going on? You remember you asked me if I miss the old days? Yeah. I need you to bring the key. Can you meet me in 30 minutes? The key, you told me never give you the key. You told me to promise you. Plus, don't Max have that shit going in the divorce? What's going on, bro? She's fine, it's fine. D does Max know about this shit? Of course she knows. Wait, yo, what is this? What are we talking about here? Is everything okay? Stop are you safe, bro? Whisper. Where's your location? I'll come to it's you right now. It's fine. Just meet me at her place in 30 minutes. And also, can you find out some information about a place called Hammond? Okay. Uh, that's pretty fucking weird. But anyway, all right. Look, I'll uh, I'll pull the police database, um, the dark web, anything I can find. I'll be there shortly. But yo, you sure you're good, man? Everything's fine. What kind of illegal shit are you getting into, man? Just to drive. Estoy desesperada, no sé qué hacemos. Me duele la cabeza y, y ¿por qué tienes el brazo el así? El pedazo me duele horrible, no sé qué pasó. ¿Y dónde está no mi sé. ropa? ¿Qué tienes en el brazo? No sé qué pasó anoche, no tengo idea. Yo y no me duele la cabeza. ¿Quién eres? Estamos haciendo un shoot y luego te muevas en Zoom. Put this on. ¿Qué? No, no, no. ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? ¿Qué estás? ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás? No preguntas. ¿Me escuchas? No quiero escuchar otra palabra de ti. Tenemos mejores cosas para estas pequeñas mujeres de tuyas. So sit quiet, shut up, and wait until they come and get you. shoes on. Long day, huh? Jesus Christ. Does this guy have a restraining order against you? Or something? Listen, I will talk. That's the problem. I handle it. Don't walk away when I'm talking to you. You sure you're gonna do this shit right now? This is not gonna go good. Gentlemen! Is he on my door? What in the flying fuck? Jesus, Yuri. You know you can't be here. Why are you dressed like a dreidel anyway, dude? Work party, my boss is Jewish. Wait, what the fuck? Look, man, we don't want any trouble here. He has no shoes on. 
Don't put it that way. What way? You don't want any trouble. Sounds like you want us some trouble. Okay, fine. Guys. Brad, I need my toolbox. And you should listen. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you guys just go uh, pump yourselves on the beach? Okay, calm Toolbox. I don't have time for this bullshit. You should listen. Oh. Oh, we're gonna do this? You shouldn't yes. do that. Ow! Told you. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Real cool. Hey, Havana, you sure you want to get wrapped up in this? All right, listen. I'm calling the cops. Okay. I got a restraining order on your buddy there. You know that, right? I'm serious. You don't live here anymore. I am the man of the house. Man, shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> don't what's make me in take here? You're not going to tell me what's in here? What's the big fucking deal in this shed? Jesus Christ. Like, does he ever listen? Yeah, easy with that stuff. What's the big deal? Hello? You're not going to say nothing. What? Oh, oh my shit. shit. What are you going to... No, please, no, look, I don't want it. You can have it. Um, all right, so the Hammond, right? It's a uh, uh, half nightclub, half casino, but they're on Indian lands, right? And they pretty much do whatever the fuck they want, run by a guy named Thomas Camp. I met him. All right, well, here's the thing. He's only a front. He comes up squeaky clean, but when you look deeper into this shit, it goes a lot further. You know what I'm saying? There's one by a whole bunch of fucking guys that have ties to criminal ties. I'm talking about, like, human trafficking, fucking, Jesus Christ, arms dealing. The two Julia? Oh, if you stay out of the fucking gym and start watching the news, they probably did take fucking Julia. Shit happens like this on the news all the time. I don't fucking know. Look, you've been in that place, right? So so what, what, what do you think... Uh, do you know a place where maybe it might be? Like I think she's inside. Okay, but you've been in there, right? So then what, 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 if you had to pick a spot, where do you think she might be? Uh, there was a side room in the back of the club. Okay. Uh, some kind of uh, key lock. Key lock, okay. Well, the club was uh, was shut down when they built a new one right next door. So maybe there's a way you get from one side to the next. If, if I had, if my best guess was probably to do that, it would probably be the same way. Try to go from one side to the other if I take a guess. But listen, check this shit out. So three years ago, right? A guy uh, 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 with a manifesto claim, right? He posted a manifesto claim. Listen to this shit. Are you paying the fucking attention? He posted a manifesto claim, claiming that his daughter got kidnapped in New York. All right? But guess what? He won't hear the funny part about it. It was financed by the same group of fucking guys. He followed the fucking petition, and uh, he fucking... Guess what happened after that? And? Yeah, and they found him shot and killed the very fucking next day and filed the petition with the city. You know what the police said? It was a home burglary. Bullshit. Take two in the chest and one in the fucking door. Professionals. Yeah, professionals. I know it. You know it. But why didn't the police figure it out? I'm still trying to find a name, bro, but it just goes a lot deeper. These guys are fucking powerful. Are you listening to me? They're powerful. And? So what? What are you doing? They're like... Dude, nothing's reading lay fucking low with you. I am lay low. No, it's not. No, I'm not lay low. You got blood everywhere. Your shoes are off. The fucking guns. You're tall, built like a tank. I'm doing my way. A tactical jacket. Oh, a tactical fucking jacket. This is great. We going to a goddamn gala? Huh? A, a, a tactical jacket. Okay, Rambo. Fuck. He's still asleep. Jesus Christ. Do me a white favor. <laughs> no. No, no. Come on, I just got the car back. Yes. Come on, there's no yes. way. No, 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 no. Please, can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? I just got the car back, though. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this shit. Fuck. I don't know why I always put myself in this situation. This is fucking crazy. Are you planning on putting on some fucking shoes, too, dude? God damn. Yeah, you're fucking welcome. Spasiba. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Shut the Thank fuck you, brother. Up. Yeah, here, here, and I got a burner phone for you, all right? Okay, perfect. Can you give it to my friend the right? Yeah, no problem, man. Today I'm like your personal Uber. Yo, if you scratch it, I'll kill you. Well, you just gonna have to fix it. I just got the car back. Okay, so we need four Latinas for the Japan deal, okay? And a little on the young side. You think you can swing it? Of course. I know you can. Money. Bye. 
Bobby. Oh, shit. Yeah. So one guy did all this. Yeah, tell me about it. Russian dude, big Ukrainian, same difference. Not really. So where's he at now? What's your concern? Nothing really. Okay, because mine is getting the club open in time for tonight, please. Yeah, Can you me? know what, Camp? We've got you. We'll have this open by tonight. This one. <laughs> Do you remember me? Yes, Brad. Hey, uh, Yuri was here and I, I tried to stop him. What do you mean he was here? What did he want? What did he say? First, he just wanted his toolbox. And then he opened it up, and there's... Oh, shit. Hello? That went well. Julia! Julia! Julia, are you here? They took her. You know her? Yes. Where is she? I don't know. I fell asleep. They took her? Yes. 911, what is your emergency? I just killed five people. Maybe six. As they have in South Beach. There are kidnapped girls chained up in the basement. They need medical attention. Do you understand? Five of our best men in Miami killed. Three of our assets taken. This puts extreme stress in our enterprise. Not to mention the kind of money we have to pay the officials to bury the investigation. This is our target. I know this man. What do you know? His name is Yuri Gragenko. He was Sambo champion in Ukraine, and he fought in the war. Special forces, over 300 confirmed kills. The people talked about him like he was some kind of legend. After I heard he was a personal bodyguard for the Secretary of Defense and the top crime boss of Moscow. I thought the Secretary of Defense was the top crime boss in Moscow. Chen. What's he want? We took something of value from him. Her name is Julia. It's his daughter. His daughter? Yes. 
Why? We're gonna need a lot of bullets. <laughs> all out. It's all over the goddamn news. Some guy walks in and him and fucking shoots all these goddamn gangsters. Great news. I'm sure it is. Did you tape it? Yeah, of course I fucking taped it. Very cool. Look, I've been doing work on these guys. I've been doing a little bit of research and and uh, the fucking shit I found. I mean, this goes a little higher than, than, than we both think. I mean, I'm close to finding a name, but the clients these guys deal with, anywhere from fucking senators to governors, 20 years and no fucking prosecution. We're gonna need a little bit more muscle, bro. I don't need this help. I just need where to find her. Find her. Great fucking answer, tough guy. Easier said than done. Look, so the work I found out, so it's the BC Holdings Group, right? They own almost all the fucking property here. There's 30 different places she can be at. So the research that I found is probably Port Lot 29. So they own this whole fucking lot, right? And there's a shipment coming in tomorrow. I'm almost certain from the research I've done that she'll probably be, she'll probably be there. Gary! Why didn't you tell me? I tried to tell you. You were too busy to care. So you're saying I don't care? I tried to call you to text you. Yuri, where the fuck is she? I don't know. I just know where we can start. How's the breath? You know, it's kind of embarrassing. You really could have hurt him. Sorry, it was too much. I forget he's a small guy, but he has potential. If he drinks more milk. <laughs> That's not funny, Yuri. He's a good man. What did you do to yourself? Mr. Gradenko! Just... Mr. Gradenko, come on! I'm waiting for you, Mr. Gradenko! Tell me something. Why don't you use protection? Excuse me, sir. Protection? Well, I guess when with a woman, I sometimes... No, no, no. Not that type of protection. I'm talking about real protection, men, guns, a place like this. Why don't you use it for yourself? Because I never needed it. That's right. Because the only people who wants to kill you want to kill me. You don't need protection because you are the protection. I'm not sure I follow. I'm trying to make you comprehend the importance of what you do. If I would be killed, who's to blame? Well, me. Yes. But I also want you to comprehend the importance of who you are. If I would get killed, what would you do? I would feel horrible, sir. I didn't ask you how would you feel. I said, what would you do? I just don't want to imagine that. But you have imagined it, haven't you? You take over. Who else is going to inherit this empire? All of these. Yours. But that's okay. It's okay. I just want you to be honest with me. You have imagined it, haven't you? Yes, sir. I have imagined it. In time, my friend, in time. But for now, you protect me. Looks 
like you made a lot of enemies lately. So special forces. Tell me, how do you get out from a situation like this? Rule number one. Always bring backup. <laughs> backup? <laughs> Gradenko, you're dead. Sleeping cars, not easy. Friend? Yes, we work together. And if there's anyone good left at that police department, trust me, it's him. Let's get out of here. Pick up some mouthwash along the way. Happy to see you here. I'm about to make you even happier. Perfect. Let's go inside and enjoy the show. Pure beauty Latinas. What else you can find it but Miami? My clientele is going to be very happy. This is a big trend right now. That's why you come to me. Because I always deliver the best. Hey, Max. I couldn't believe it when you told me what happened. How are you holding up? We're all right. We just need to find her. Were you able to find anything with the information we gave you? Well, I'm off duty this week, but I did pop into the department last night after we talked. What'd you find? Well, I, Max, I, I checked into the port. It's pretty heavy stuff. If you go uh, after these people, they're going to come gunning for you. And I mean gunning. Are you sure you're ready? 
Yeah, I'm sure. Both of them dead. Yes, sir. The Russian motherfucker is costing me a lot of money. Well, what if... What if we release the girl? Give him back the girl? You know who I am? You know what I built? You think a guy will take a bunch of our men and I'm gonna become his bitch? What the fuck I'm paying you for? Find him and kill him. Stop coming. Fifteen minutes.
Yes. I'm the only one who can help you. Get that bitch out of here. Get me the fucking Russian stuff. You mean the Ukrainian? Whatever. Your father didn't make this easy. I won't forget that. Put it over there. <laughs> My dad's not done yet. <laughs> oh yes, he's done. Find Olivier. Mr. Tanaka, yes. Oh no, just small bump of the port. I just wanted to inform you that my end of the deal is almost complete. Yes. Thank you. Julia is inside. Be quiet. Leo. But if they shoot, call out.
Fuck you. Where girls? Fuck you, asshole. Boss, we got a problem with the port. Now what? God damn it. What's going on today? What's going on? I'm paying people, they don't do anything. this car. I told you, Julia is here. I'm taking the cameras out. You go through front, we meet inside. How many of us? Six, maybe seven. Guns! And the other building. But, boss, I got my guys. They're brawlers. We're gonna take this motherfucker. That's fucking Russia. He took up the crew at the port. After camp, had killed him. And then... And then... He got Olivia too. Don't worry, Charles. I mean, boss. We'll get him. You better. Go find them, or we're all dead. I don't see them on the cameras. Go, go! At least I have insurance. Just like the good old days. Oh, come on, Yuri, you can't tell me you don't miss this shit. Not even a little bit. I told you, no one beat. Not when Julia is involved. Uh, Alright, how about, how about 666 Toronto? Toronto's a fucking movie. Made it for you. I was sore for weeks. I am at the garage door. All right, perfect timing. Perfect timing, because this guy's about to be pwned, bitch. The Russo de mierda. So check it out, the room's empty right now, but you just, just wait by the door, alright? I'm opening the door now, and uh, you just wait for me, I'm coming down now. Yeah, that's a good idea, wait, don't kick nothing down, you just wanna fuck shit up.
Mr. Tanaka, you got to send help. I'm a valuable partner. I got you. Fuck you, Tanaka. Oh, this is the elevator? It's like a stand-up shower. So what? You can barely fit this. You know how many bad situations happen? Come on, man. Don't no fucking. I can't do it. I'm scared. It's the 1927 plan. There's no other way we can get up here. It's crazy. It's like a coffin. What? What? Our... No, no, we're not doing this. All right, all right. Calm down. To stop the bleeding. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I got it. No, 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 no. It's your Dennis Haslam, bro. He's got like a fucking dope ass car collection. No, the other one. I like it. How about the other thing? Wait, bro. And then Flash. Wayne County's my favorite player. <laughs> the other one. No, I'm not getting LeBron. <laughs> How about this one? Yeah, number 15, Mario Chalmers. Nobody likes this game anyway. Turnover King. <laughs> oh my god. Is this supposed to burn? I told you, I got it. Easy, Tiger! Keep it. Quiet! <laughs> Thank you. Let her go. What? No hello, no nice to meet you. I guess not. You're a businessman. Let's negotiate. I have tons of money. Rubles. No, Green. I'm Ukrainian. What? You're not Russian? How much money are we talking about? <laughs> I knew you were a reasonable man. Put the gun down. How about two million dollars? Two million dollars? Julie, what do you say? Everybody has a price. Ah! <laughs> Julia!
Na zdarovia. Merry Christmas, Papa. Okay. Well, that'll keep you occupied. So, whatever happened to Max? Well... 